Были времена, когда Федор Емельяненко крушил самых лучших бойцов в мире, но при этом в России об этом практически никто не рассказывал. Завоевание чемпионского пояса в бою с Нагуэрой. Победа в Гран-при тяжеловесов. Супербой с Крокопом. Ни одно из этих эпохальных событий не удостоилось даже строчки в спортивных новостях на федеральных ТВ. Лишь небольшая горстка хардкорных фанатов с полутора сайтов, посвященных ММА, следила за успехами последнего императора. Все стало меняться в середине 2005 года, когда создатель M1 Global Вадим Финкельштейн смог продвинуть на телеканал НТВ ряд поединков с турниров Pride. И Федор стал получать узнаваемость, прессу, а число его поклонников начало расти как на дрожжах. И спустя всего пару лет первый бой Емельяненко в России в статусе суперзвезды японского промоушена собрал аншлаг в Ледовом дворце в Санкт-Петербурге, где даже пришлось открывать дополнительные ярусы для размещения зрителей. Произошло это 14 апреля 2007 года на турнире Badog Fight Clash of the Nations. Соперником Федора стал звездный ветеран UFC, серебряный призер Олимпийских игр по греко-римской борьбе американец Мэтт Лидланд, чье имя в те времена многое значило для поклонников смешанных единоборств. На его счету было 20 побед в 24 поединках, титульные бои в октагоне и немало скальпов поверженных именитых соперников. Это был заслуженный, опытный и опасный оппонент, и поэтому никакой недооценки соперника ни со стороны Федора, ни со стороны его болельщиков и быть не могло. But on the inside, he wants to keep him close. He doesn't want to take the power. Going for leg sweeps of both guys. Picks him up the mat. He wants to drive him down. And he does! Fedor reverses the Olympic medalist in Greco with a beautiful throw of his own. And I'll tell you something right now. Fedor has got to try to finish this fight because that cut could very well be a fight stopper. Matt wants to be down here. Great wrestler. Good in submissions. Fedor is the type of guy that doesn't need to get past this half guard if he can create distance he'll blast the crowd going absolutely crazy as Fedor looks to find a submission looks like he's hunting for that left arm of Matt Lindland Matt holds him close and avoids any sort of submission hold tries to wrap him up with his legs and kick him away at the same time Fedor working his way into full mount but Matt Lindland doing the right thing by keeping that knee up Fedor known as a master of ground and pound. Lindland is now looking for an Achilles lock. Oh, wow! Only to his belly, cranking on that ankle. Lindland blasts him with the heel to get out of that. Right back on top is a million ankle. This is something else. We told you to be fast and furious. Fedor's got Lindland absolutely folded in half right now. But Lindland looks like he's possibly looking to climb onto the back of Fedor. Hard to see who's got the advantage from this position right now. As great as Lindland is as a wrestler, this just shows you how complete Fedor is. Guys, my heart is pounding. I saw he just barely got tapped on the side of the head and he was bleeding all over. And I thought Fedor was in serious trouble. He grabbed the rope to avoid, avoid that takedown and reversed Lindland's throw, and he ends up in the mount again. He's in the full mount this time. Matt tries to blast him. He tries to buck him off. Look at this. Looking for an arm locked out. Desperate position for Matt Lindland. Lindland has to try to keep that arm safe. If Fedor manages to extend his body and extend that arm, this fight is over. And he's got a hold of the leg to prevent him from doing that right now. But you see him trying to work that leg in there. Yeah, possibly looking for a toe, but then going back to the arm again. And it's a tempo! Fedor! Bleeding! Hurt! But still gets the arm bar victory in the early seconds of the first round! Still undefeated! Still the man! It's Fedor and Melianenko! Absolutely astounding! 
astonishing. Amanda Nagel got blasted early in the opening seconds of the fight. He went down to the canvas, and then he showed you he loves to ground and pound. Never could do it with Matt Lillian, so he goes to his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and he wins it that way. He can do it all. That's what this guy is known for. You can cut him. You can bust him. You can attempt submissions. He finds a way through it all. He is the world's best at finding a way to win and getting a standing ovation from this capacity crowd after his first MMA fight ever on his native soil is still the champ, Fedor Emelianenko. Well, it didn't last long, but it sure was exciting for as long as it lasted. I'm taking my hat out to that man right there, Matt Bilal Linden. He's furious with himself, but putting up as much of a fight as any heavyweight ever has. Very, very able competitor, very capable opponent. He definitely can walk out of here with his head held high. Well, we've got replays coming up. So stick right with us, folks. This guy is a sensation. Here's where the cut happens. We probably could see it earlier. Oh, right on the eyelid. And you see Fedor wipe it off. Immediately knew that it ripped away. And look at this. He falls completely forward. Going for a uh, straight ankle lock. And Lenlin pulls the guard very quickly. Neutralizing Fedor's uh, leg lock game. Here's a look at the end. Fedor bleeding all over Matt Lennon. Looked like he was going to go for an Americana. Had a hold of that arm. And there you see it. That is, is clearly going to pop right there. Matt Lennon still holding his elbow right now inside center ring. Here's another look at it. Lennon kicks his feet away as if to get out of an ankle lock. But there's a big tap. And Lennon immediately grasped his elbow. But here's the winner. Let's go up for the official word, Colonel. All right, let's make it official as we go to our ring announcer. Go ahead, Damien. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner comes at the two minute, 38 second mark of round number one. Your winner by way of arm bar tap out. Fedor Emelianenko. around his waist, Fedor Emelianenko. Fedor talking to the crowd here, and of course they love him. Well, for those of you who don't speak Russian, he thanked the crowd for coming out to support him and thanked everybody at Bodog Fight. I like to call him the Russian Superman. The Cold War is over, but he is clearly the Cold Warrior. The first time Fedor has fought in his home country, how does he feel? Конечно, большую радость. Большую радость. Я уже выступал везде. Много было выступлений в Японии, были в Америке. Впервые в России. И я рад порадовать своих болельщиков, своих... It's a pleasure for me. I've been fighting all over the world. I've been fighting in Japan, all over. But this is my first time here in St. Petersburg. I'm really, really very happy that so many people came to see me. Was the cut on your eye a worry? You got cut in the first 10 seconds of the fight. Were you? Did, did you try harder to finish as fast as you can? Нет, я не думал об этом. Я выступал, выступал э, так же, как... То есть я не спешил и делал все размеренно и обдуманно после этой травмы. After this injury, I was not in a hurry. I was still thinking, thinking and thinking and working it out. Congratulations, Fedor. We appreciate you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much.